this is what we're going to make today. It's just a table saw sled and I know there's probably a hundred different videos out there on how to make one. But uh, I needed one for a project that I've got coming up. It's a storage unit that is uh, holds a whole bunch of different cigar boxes. And so anyway, look, look for that to come up. But I needed a wide, uh, be able to do something that's 12 inches wide. So I needed a sled in order to do that because I got to cut a bunch of dados. So this video is about making this and uh, I'm just going to show you a way to make one that is very quick to make. I made this one in less than an hour and I was videoing it so it shouldn't you know, take you very long. It's very accurate. You get it, uh, I'm going to show you how to get these uh, put on here to where everything's lined up just right and it's not a hassle to get it all uh, aligned. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, so I want to cut the piece of wood to run in this groove right here and so I'm just going to measure my groove and I'm getting 755 755 755 okay so I want to set my fence a little bit more than that and I've got a piece of oak here that's a little bit too thick and it's a little bit too wide so I want to I'm going to cut off just a little bit of it a little bit of the width and then we'll see where we are alright so We're at 796, so we need to lose at least 45 thousandths. So what we're going to do is get a meter, okay, so now I want to move my fence until I get to 45. Okay, that's right on 45. I don't know if you can tell that or not from where you're looking. Okay, now let's run that cut. So we're... Actually, well, 750. Well, depending on how I hold it. 748. So we're about three or two or three thousandths under which is probably good for uh, letting it slide. Okay, so now with that down in my groove, I'm about 104 thousandths proud of my surface, and so I'm gonna cut a dado in my board that's an eighth of an inch, so that'll raise this up about 15 thousandths off the bottom. All right, I've got my stacked dado head in there. Now the boards I'm using are just, there's some recycled cabinet doors. I got from Michael on one side, and. Uh, just the polyurethane birch plywood on the other. So that finish ought to make it slide really easily and be durable on the other side. All right, so to get my depth set, I've just got a piece of the wood here, and I'm sure you can't see it, but I've got a little line marked there. And I'm just going to raise it. And you have to kind of move your blade until you get to the top of the height. Looks like it's going to be just right. Okay, so that's got our height set. Now we'll set our distance from the fence. So, this is where your blade's going to be cutting. This is a dado blade, so of course it's a lot wider, but your blade's going to be right there, any blade. Well, it's going to start right there because that's the edge of the arbor. And I've got five and a half inches, a little less than five and a half inches to there which means I want five and a half inches from here to my fence at least yeah that should be good it's a little over five and a half inches that'll be perfect okay so to do the uh, groove for the other side we're gonna measure off this side of the first blade 
because that's where your saw blade's going to be. It's not going to be as wide as this dado blade. So we're at four and three eighths. So we want this edge of that blade to be at least four and three eighths from the edge of our fence. All right, so there we go. We've got a nice tight fit. All right, so I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut these pieces. So just line it up at the end there and just mark it. And the other one. Next thing we need to do is get this edge perfectly parallel to our blade. So that's easy to do because we've got our runner on there so we just need to run it down the groove and cut the edge off. Alright we've now got our two, two pieces trimmed so the blade just goes up between them. And so I need to get a fence put on there. And this is just a piece of 2x4 and the 2x4s have a little bit of a rounded over edge and that's a good thing because when you do this you get just tiny little bits of sawdust it won't uh, mess up the accuracy of where your board is sitting so I've got these two by fours cut to length and so what I need to do now is get this one exactly 90 degrees to this edge so I'm going to take a framing square that I know to be accurate Okay, now that I've got this one at 90 degrees, I'm going to go ahead and slide this one in place and get it clamped and then I can just screw them both in place at one time. Alright, I got it upside down on the bench and I'm just going to put some screws in place. Alright, I've got the front one screwed on and so now I'm just going to get this back one in place. Yeah, that works really well. So by um, lining this side up and then making these with the grooves and cutting them and then bolting these on and holding them, holding them with clamps and then screwing them on um, allowed us to get them lined up perfectly so that it, it slides very easily. Now on the back side of the sled, the blade will come through. And you kind of, when you're pushing it, you kind of have a tendency to put your thumb down low, and you could do that, and you could cut into your thumb. So, I suggest you put you a little piece on here to protect for that. There you go. You still, you know, you don't want your finger over here, but it'll make you want to push, you know, over like on the sides like this. That'll keep your finger out of there in case that in case you do go all the way through and that blade comes through, you won't cut your thumb. All right, let's give it a test. Perfectly square. Awesome. All right, that's got this project finished. Look for that video coming out on the cigar box storage unit. And I uh, hope this was helpful to you. And as usual, thank you for watching.